Okay, um, in Korea, there's uh, three rules in the, in the film industry. There are very difficult, three difficult uh, things, you know, when you do the, the, the business in, you know, in the production, the film business. The first one, the directing the, the children. The second one is directing the, the animals. The third one is uh, directing the, the Chinese director, uh, who is uh, the, you know, the homeless man. So this film has uh, three difficulty, the most difficult the problems in this film. It's very big challenge, because I'm very hard to, you know, to act, the directing the actors for the, the young people. They, are, uh, they have no experience in acting. And um, the, the dog, the worry is uh, actually we choose the, the, the dog for the audition and it's only one. Usually they use a, a similar dog, so like a three or four numbers, but uh, it's, uh, it's very hard to get the same dog. So we have only one dog and three children and um, a Chinese. And it's very, uh, very notorious in, uh, in the production, so we have very difficult. Um, I like the plot of the story as well as the characters. I wonder, was it easy um, directing the dog uh, with the children? Because uh, when I look at the dog, as if he, he, was, uh, he or she is well trained. Can you say again? Can you say again? Um, was it easy to uh, direct the dog with the children? It is a very difficult. I mean, uh, the children, the first, the, the main character, the Jizo, she has uh, one the experience in the one uh, film, the previous one. But they were very, she was very young and there was no dialogue. So, but the uh, dog was, was a baby. But Jizo is uh, the main character. Jizo is a uh, you know, play the whole the film. Is, uh, the, it's just you know, just uh, uh, the helper and then the, the friend and then Tara and her the brother is, and they are, this is the first time in this film. So uh, I got the audition from you know the two kids and um, they're very uh, interesting uh, act acting or reactions, so I thought that it, it should be like uh, very uh, funny in the film, so I choose to be the two girl and boy, and um, dog, uh, I you know, try to find a uh, very attractive dog, and um, this dog is uh, has uh, no training before, so we got the uh, Actually, he got the dog to the training school for the training uh, for uh, two months, and then I got the you know, acting right actions from the film that time. Ah, uh, hello. Um, during the film, it was uh, me and my companion thought that it was going to be the three-fingered man that was going to be the kid's father. And it was somewhat uh, suggested, all, suggested all throughout the film, and yet in the end we saw that it wasn't Three Fingered Man, it was another guy. Uh, my question is, uh, throughout the filmmaking process, was there an idea or a thought that the Three Fingered Man was, was really going to be the father of the kid, or, and it was later changed? Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like uh, the homeless man. Uh, it's like uh, her father. Some audience said uh, they asked, actually asked me, the, is that her father or not? But uh, it actually, it's not. I mean, I assume that all fathers have the same problems or you know, have challenges about you know, family. So maybe this homeless man has a, a girl, but he's, uh, he left the house. Some some point, so maybe it's a metaphor for the old father's you know, difficulty in you know, supporting the family. 
but the history of another, you know, the father of the family. Okay. Good evening. Uh, I would like to ask if this movie is an indie film. Oh. Uh, Yes or no? <laughs> so, uh, it's, a, it's not a big budget. It's uh, actually it's a little budget in Korea. But uh, usually in, in Korea, the independent film is a much lower budget. So it's a between the independent and the commercial you know, feature film. But uh, usually in Korea, the commercial feature film is a the big the distribution company. But this one doesn't have a, the, this, the big distribution company because uh, uh, at the beginning of our production, we are very hard to get the money from the investment uh, because it's a small story and uh, it's about uh, dog and children. So we are very hard to get the money for the production. So that's why we don't have any good distribution, distribution you know, line in Korea. So it makes uh, later it becomes like uh, uh, we didn't you know, screen in Korea in big multiplex cinemas. So we choose the like a small theater and cinema tech in Korea. That makes uh, this film looks like an independent film. All right. Thank you very much. And I still have another question. What, ins <laughs> what inspired you to make this film? Okay, actually, this film has an original novel. It's a novel from the United States of America. It has the same the title, How to Steal a Dog. And the company in Korea bought the right to you know, make a film in Korea. And um, they suggested me to direct for this film. And before this film, I usually make the whole of film. I, uh, made a, like into the mirror or the ghost story, something like that. But at that time, I was really tired of making the horror film. So it was a very interesting subject for me. And um, uh, well, you know, nowadays in Korea, they have a lot of very uh, adult themes in Korean film, like uh, violence or sex or, you know, all other severe you know, actions and emotions. But I, I thought that we need a, like, a, a family movie in Korea also. So I thought it's a big challenge to make a film like this. So that's why, um, okay, I have to make a film uh, like this because there's no family movie in the Korea nowadays for the kids or for the families. So that's why I, I made it. Thank you very much. And Thank I would you. like to say that I did not expect the movie to be that great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, I have two questions. First, uh, I uh, the cinematography is very good, and uh, I'm wondering what camera did you use to shot the film? Oh, it's a red. Okay. So we, we use a red, uh, uh, I think the red one. Yeah, it's a digital camera, and okay. in Korea uh, we use the digital camera all the time, not the film anymore. Okay. Uh, my next question is: uh, the character, the main character, comes from a homeless family. Uh, is this really an issue in Korea? And are you inspired to do the film uh, to show also this kind of issue? In the, the living in the car? Yes, being homeless. Car, homeless. Yes. Because uh, it was very you know, hard to get the right to adapt, uh, adapt in Korean situation because uh, in the novel, in the, it's the, it's the uh, uh, say United States of America, they usually, many people live in car uh, with a family. But uh, actually in Korea, uh, there's no culture for, you know, Living in the car with our father, with the mother, and the children living in the car, so it doesn't make any sense in, in the reality. So I put some more details and situation, like uh, he living the house, like I says, promising like uh, he will come back in a week, and they believe it, and that's why they live in the car. So maybe 
that sounds like a, a get some reality in Korea, but a little bit different. So I thought there's a it's like a fantasy of a, a film, and maybe through the the scene of the, these children, they they maybe it makes a reality in the film. I think. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I would like to congratulate you for a very funny movie, although the theme was not funny. Uh, as, yeah, I want to go back to the previous question, and actually that's what I found a bit jarring, because I don't think that Koreans, even if they're home, they live in, in France, but go to sauna. That's where they stay when they don't have any place to go. So I guess you answered my question, but I was really surprised when you told me that the original plot was American because actually besides this detail, it's so Korean, I find. I mean, I'm not Korean, I'm just a veteran of these 100, 120 K novels, the K drama that you have on TV. And uh, uh, you tell that you tell us that the plot is all about this child and the dog, but it's actually about the family in Korea and how I actually always thought of Korea as the beautiful South Republic of Korea because there's so much discrepancy between modernity and tradition and that is given to this greed for money, etc., etc., and that's given rise to this situation. Where the family, where the father goes off, perhaps earn more, etc. Anyhow, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, good evening. Uh, first of all, thank you for coming to uh, UB to uh, to spend time to answer some of our questions. And I want to say that we really do appreciate uh, Korean films because we really, we really see that there's a lot of. Um, Soul in the Korean films, and our uh, my question is just very quick. Um, where did you shoot the the ocean scenes? Uh, actually, we shot in Jeju Island, it's the south in the island in the Korea. But uh, the you know the landscape actually is from CC. <laughs> it's a computer graphics. We just generate the, like uh, palm trees and. Uh, the clouds and sky, but it doesn't look like uh, Jeju Island. Yeah. Uh, I thought that it could be like uh, it's a it's a her dream. It's a, it's her dream. It's like uh, you know, warm and hot, the, the like uh, you know, ocean. So it's a little bit you know manipulated uh, the place. Okay, thanks, David. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. That uh, uh, movie is really nice. So it has a very simple storyline, but it has a deeper meaning, right? So, what are your re realizations after directing the film? Uh, you mean the like uh, feeling? Or? Yes, your feelings about directing the film. Okay. Um, that's a uh, yet very serious uh, question about uh, you, know, you know supporting the family or you know, living alone without father or children's status something like that. But uh, I'm just worried about the, uh, about the, you know, suggesting the message you know, during the shooting because uh, well, what would you know, tell about the story through the, this film? It should be like uh, you should be. Uh, live alone without father, or just satisfy the living in the car, something like that. But I thought that it's not the story about the, the children. So it's the it's the message. It takes a message to the parents. The parents has a, some more responsibility about the supporting the family, so, and then. Uh, you know, when he, when the Jesus confessed their, his, uh, her, the, you know, deed, 
you know, still in the dark, you know, you know, but ask to come, you know, forgive, forgive the her what she did. And uh, this is like a, a this message to the, the mother, the, you know, the parents. They have a, like a, some more responsibility about the children is uh, so innocent and um, has a uh, no, the sincerity or something like that. So I have a uh, the same age children in my house and um, during the, the film and I feel like uh, I have more you know uh, responsibility about the family. Good evening, Mr. Kim. Good evening. Yes, thank you for bringing that movie to the Philippines. Actually, you just answered my first question because I was about to ask that. Um, so my next question would be like, for many people here in the Philippines, having this kind of, because um, we, we as students and as you know normal people, we kind of sometimes direct small films too, but in your case, were you not challenged to deliver this kind of message using a different language? Even if there would be some subtitles, of course there would be like um, a little language barrier. So what was your intention and what was your real intention of actually delivering this movie to us? Um, okay, so... Yeah, maybe I, I actually can answer the same you know, question. But um, first of all, uh, the through this film, I I do like to you know make a, a you know, film about the family issue. Uh, it's very hard to get to make in Korea. They always make uh, like uh, you know the political problems or you know big issue, adult problems, something like that. But sometimes uh, it's very important to make a story about the family or children because uh, it's, uh, it's very hard to make uh, one in Korea. The second one, through the, this film, uh, this story is about uh, like uh, what she did and uh, what she did after that, something like con confession or you know, forgiveness. And um, that's the, the main story, com the, com the climax in the film. But uh, during the you know, investment in for the production of this you know, film, many investors or you know, company people said, uh, make a more story, make a story more dramatic. Or, you know, what, what about the happy ending? The father find, the father come back, or, you know, they try to kill their try to you know, kill themselves something some point maybe the old lady is a uh, the big fortune to her or something like that but I don't think uh, that's the the big you know, subject for this film. It's uh, it's a small you know, the emotion it's very important in this film so I just insist that okay confession is climax so I don't want a big event or you know the miserable things in Things happen in the, in the film, in the film. So that's the my second you know, the object to make this film also. Uh, good evening. Uh, thank you very much for uh, showing us uh, your film. Thank you. Uh, my question would be, uh, since uh, the mo uh, the film uh, was adopted from the novel which was uh, from another country, uh, U.S. How did you deal with uh, the cultural nuances between your own country uh, and the country of origin of the story? What are your challenges uh, in making this film uh, a Korean film? Okay, first of all, the novel has a, uh, has a same setup, it's like uh, the the living in the, the girl and the living in the car with the mother is the same setup, but uh, that's it. That's all about uh, you know, the, her stories uh, in the novel. 
There's no story after that. Just he, she stole the dog, and then she just uh, go to the, the old lady to get the dog back, and then say sorry. But it's not the the, the the film plot. So I made a plot for the the last of the, the film. It's like uh, we need a antagonist like a niece, her niece, you not know, to get the money from the old lady, and um. This uh, the the circumstance is uh, is in the Seoul, it's a big city, and um, they live in a pizza van, and because, you know, suggesting like her father working for the pizza delivery or something, so it makes a little bit more you know, Korean circumstance, and um, there is a say like a per square, it's a, like a uh, like a city or place. But the, in, in the novel, the, the, the girl says like $500 can buy your house. But in Korea, no children think uh, they can buy a house uh, with uh, $500. So I made like, a, okay, $500 per square meter. But uh, she thought it's a, it's a place. So when you go to that place, uh, there is a $500 house. So it makes sense in Korea also. So, some details are uh, made from the, you know, uh, the idea, the, you know, the matching the circumstances of Korea. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for such a marvelous and amazing movie. So actually, the, I, don't, I really understand that this is a Korean movie festival, but so I, unfortunately, or well, fortunately, I'm a Japanese. So actually, the, I want to ask that and it's a kind of the. Um, uh, appropriate situation, appropriate question. So, what, in, in your opinion, what's the differences of the Japanese movie and the Korean movie? Okay, um, yeah, I like Japanese movie also, and I, I, I watched a, a lot of Japanese movie recently. And, um, there is a different culture like between the Korea and Japan, and in the Korea, somehow they made a lot of, you know, commercial films like uh, like Hollywood but they have a uh, because of big budgets and they have a uh, big companies in the film industry so they try to make money from the film so from the you know, beginning they want uh, more dramatic stories so that's why we have a uh, like a uh, big budget films or like a uh, like a fantasy or like a uh, you know blockbuster films but uh, recently I watched the Japanese film, but seems like uh, they they are really uh, really like the, uh, somehow the free from the money. They made a small you know, the film. It's like an independent film, and then they focus on the the how the how to you know the make the film through the director's eye for view. So. Some points I envy the Japanese film, they have a more powerful you know, message or you know, direct the film in their way. But in Korea, in many ways, they intervene, like uh, from the investment, the investors or you know, from producers, or even you know, like uh, the reviewers through the, you know, the production uh, period. So, Actually, we don't get the right the direction on, on my opinion, my, in my my own opinion, because uh, they don't want that. They they are very afraid to losing the money from the you know, investment. So I think uh, I have a more interesting. I think uh, there is a more interesting film, in Japanese film, but uh, in my opinion, in Korea. It's very hard to you know, see or you know, watch the film have an interesting or their own take in the film. Hello. Uh, first thing I'd like to say I'm sorry because even though I'm Korean, I haven't watched it in Korea, so it's a really nice movie. And what I want to ask is, I think, do you have any relationship with some actor and actress, especially Chen Min-soo and Kang Hye-jong? 
they are very famous and as you mentioned uh, you didn't have enough budget but they are really famous so I think there is something connection between you and Chairman Zoom actor. Okay, uh, actually there is no connection between the actors and actress. And, um, um, my only, uh, I, my, uh, my yeah, casting power was uh, from the actual script. Uh, they like the script very much. And first of all, we are finished, when I finished the script, and, um, we are starting to casting. And there is no, no, no budget to cast. So, we are thinking about uh, you know more famous actors and actresses, but it's not can afford to you not know, do that. But uh, uh, at the beginning, we casting about old the lady, the Kimeja. She's the very become the very famous in, in mother, the Mr. Bong Joon-ho's film, and um, I heard that. Uh, She's very picky to you know, choose the film, so uh, everybody worry about the you know, cast. But uh, I have uh, some confidence to you know, to like the film. Maybe she liked the film, so I just showed the script. Uh, that time she was like uh, playing the, the stage in the theater. It was in Jeju Island, so I flew to Jeju. And I showed the script, and she read the script, and she liked it. So even if it's a very small role, but she like to enjoy the you know, film. So that's why we start the cast very easily first, and then the company looking for the the homeless man, and um, we have a lot of famous, you know, the supporting actor in Korea nowadays very famous. But uh, I don't want to very you know just. Uh, cliche like um, actors so I'm looking for the new face and a new character. The Chinese that that time the Chinese director the, he has uh, some bad you know uh, rumor in the film production so he, like uh, he uh, hit directors <laughs> like a punch you know, something like that so nobody cast the Chinese also but um, I thought that for the homeless man, Chen is a, is, a, is a perfect role for the for the this you know, uh, the film. So uh, I asked the Chen and I'm um, about the, you know, playing the role in the, my film, and she all, he also you know, says okay directly from the you know, finishing the reading the script. So that's why we casting the. You know, good actors and actresses. Yes. Hi. Hello. Um, so, um, since you have a Korean, uh, we have a Korean uh, film festival happening right now. If you're going to be given a chance to actually shoot here in the Philippines with some Korean actors, would you do it? I'm sorry, I'm Chinese, really. <laughs> Um, if you're going to be given a chance, for example, to shoot a film here in the Philippines with some Korean actors, uh, here? Would, you, yeah, would you do it? Since uh, nowadays, you know, Filipinos are going gaga between, right. you know, Korean yeah. actors. Yes, yeah, I love to. I mean, if I have a chance, I mean, I, I, I would like to, you know, do the, the things in here also. I mean, um, I'm just, you know, I have a... Uh, interesting uh, you know, new directions or new uh, way of making the film in Korea and also looking for the new environment because um, I have a lot of interest in the, you know, the different place or different culture so maybe you know, if you have a chance to meet I mean, I'd like to. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Who's your biggest influence um, as a director? For this film? 
Uh, discipline, right? Not necessarily. Um, ah, okay, I see. Personally. Okay. Um, actually, I studied architecture in Korea. And I'm working as an architect in an architecture company for you know, one and a half year after graduation from university. And um, that time I was uh, a little bit get tired of you know the drawing the lines for the, the buildings. So I looking for a more interesting job. And that time I was uh, uh, I really you know, loved to watch the film like. Um, Coen Brothers film or Spike Lee's film, the Jim Jamish film. So that's why I you know, just quit the, my job and go to the rent the New York to study the film. So I stayed like uh, four years in the New York, I studied the film and then after that I came back to Korea and made the film. The first film was uh, the Into the New York is a horror film. And this film and I really like to like uh, uh, show something like a uh, fantasy, not the uh, just a miserable environment that shows the audience because uh, it's a view of children, child. So it could be like uh, it should it should be miserable, but it should be you know looks like uh, the fantasy for the uh, kids. So. Um, I actually, the Rance and Dust film, I, I liked very much recently, so maybe I, you know, some get some more reference from the, this film also. Uh, good evening. Uh, I have two questions. The first is, how long did it take to uh, make this film? And the second question is, what kind of films do you wish you could see more in Korean cinema? Okay, uh, we uh, actually I wrote a script. Like it takes like it took like uh, one and a half year. You know, change the revise the script also several times, and then after that we cast the uh, investment for the uh, six months I think so. After the we are shooting like a two and a half months, we did the summer, and um, the old lady was a uh, uh, thing, and she is not working for the half summer, so we start in early June, and it seems like the August, so it took like a two months and a half. And um, in Korea, I I want to see the film in more different ways of seeing so you know, you know different genres of scene. Uh, there is a nowadays uh, there is a there is even a film they made because it, it was like the the big budget in the big budget they they make the blockbuster and I I think uh, we need more you know different ways of seeing the film so maybe about the kids or about the family and uh, more, more subject in the news. So I wish um, there was a lot of different kind, different kinds of movies being made in Korea in the future. One more question. find her home, especially when they are in front of the supermarket, because they don't have cell phones. <laughs> right, it's the by accident. <laughs> it's, a, it's a coincidence, right? But they have a promise, maybe. They let's, let's meet in the supermarket or let's meet in some place, right? Uh, maybe a lot of you know, things happen between the, the scenes. And, uh, uh, yeah, you have a good point. You know. <laughs> That's my mistake. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Director, uh, let me ask you one thing. All of a sudden, I just wonder. 
What is the best or favorite movie you've seen among Korean movies, and uh, why? What's the reason? And could you share uh, some stories about that? And yeah, that's all. Are you mean in Korea? Yes, in among Korea, the Korean movies, what is the films? favorite? Your first movie uh, you've seen. Okay. Um. After the the showing the this film. Uh, there is another film about the uh, children. Its title is the uh, Korean title is uh, Uriider. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure about the English name, English title. But the Uriider has the uh, same the issue and uh, the message. It's about the children. It's the same age like uh, 12 or you know, 11 years old in, in, in uh, elementary school. They have a uh, some serious the relationship between the you know, children, and um, it was a very impressive, uh, and a very very moving moment. And you should you know watch the film if you have a chance. It says Uri uh, is a Korean title, and um, that in the movie, uh, two girls are having a fight, have a the, you know bad moment in the. The, in the in the, the that time they have a they have a struggle with the, you know you know the growing to the you know, adult but uh, there there is another small the brother says like uh, when you fight when you fight when you fight just keep fighting so there is no time to get be friend so it's it's very moving the moment I was crying I mean, when I see that see that that film so. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the most you know, the moving moment in the film recently. I mean, watched the, the Korean film. Okay, thank you. And one more question uh, for your information: uh, Lee Min Ho and Song Joong Ki is very popular. So, for your information, you know, if you have a chance to make uh, the film. Please try to contact them and you know try to show the movie here in the Philippines. Yeah, right, right. Very, very famous film. Right, they are famous and they are very expensive too. <laughs> yeah. well, I need more money you know, to share. You know. There, you know, in Korean Korean film industry, everyone to make you know to cast that two you know, actors. You know, it's very hard. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. you can do it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. We'll take one. One um, hello. Um, I would ask uh, because you mentioned that you had your background in architecture before taking up your film career. Um, the question is that uh, did your background in architecture have any influence in your film style or was there not? I don't. Yeah, I think uh, yeah I have because uh, uh, you know through the. You know, the design the building or the, you know, the old you know, the arch, arch, you know, the architecture has the same you know, process to make the building from the, you know, the blueprint to the building. So uh, it's, it's very similar to make a film from the you know, script to the you know, production or, or the film itself. So uh, make the story or make the story has uh, some plot um, or you know, some point make that like a bit or you know, some point of you know, the, the change the direction of the story it looks like uh, this is very similar to design the building from the beginning to the end and uh, besides uh, the through the production and I'm really interested in that you know making the, the environment the place and the lights and shadows. So I think they, it's from the you know, architectural design. And the lights and shadows say the story also. And it's very important to you know express myself through the you know, film. I, if not, I, I would like to be a novelist or something like that. But uh, uh, that's why I make the film because uh, they have a. Uh, the lights, they have music, or the editing process, so it's all kind of process and 
So showing the lot of the elements in the film, it's it's from the I mean it's from the architecture, it's like uh, blocks or sand or stones or paintings or something like that. So maybe color or shadow or all visual elements is from the architecture. Also. Thank you for your active participation. I did not really expect your active participation. Actually, I sat beside him to interpret his messages, but he's really good in English, right? So I didn't have to say anything, so I think it's time to say something to him. May I ask you one last question? Yes, good evening. Yes, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> yes, your movie was really amazing, yeah. So, uh, can you introduce your future movie plan? Uh, actually, I made uh, another film uh, last year, and um, I just finished up the, the post production last week. Uh, I will do it in March because the uh, first time in Dubai at the Dubai Film Festival this year, it's going to be on next month. So I shot uh, an animation in Dubai Film Festival the first, and um, it, it's going to be a screening. Uh, maybe next year. Uh, it's it's a really low budget. It's, a, it's a independent film, but uh, it's a story about a son and mother. Mother has a Alzheimer's disease, so it's gonna be another uh, story about a family relationship. And I also start the the, the script. Actually, is from the Korean webtoon. Nowadays, Korea is a web is very popular, and it's, uh, it's actually an action film. So, uh, a boy uh, looking for uh, her, his mother, so also is a, has a theme about uh, the looking for looking for mother. So, it's going to be it's going to be very um, fun or uh, be a genre film in the future. I think. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh... Yes, how was today? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your participation. Once again, I am June of Korean Culture Center, and he was Kim, director. And I hope everyone enjoys our today's, today's evening. And the Korea Film Festival will officially kick off in Manila on September 7 to 9 at SM Egg Mega Mall. The festival will run until October 15. And we'll be stopping by the cities of Davao on September 14 to 17. Ilo, ilo on September.